This video is recorded to help my students to understand Project 2. Here I explain a problem solution that is similar to Project 2. Suppose that an online store sells a single product at a price $40 per unit. There are four kinds of membership, regular, silver, gold, and diamond. The regular customer has low discount. The silver customer has 2% discount. The gold customer has 5% discount and the diamond customer has 10% discount. Write a program, get number of units to buy, the membership type, then print out the total cost. There are two requirements. First, the user only can enter membership as RSGD, like regular, silver, golden, and di uh, or diamond. Any other input is considered illegal and will be asked to re-enter. Ask if user want to do another calculation. If answer is yes, then repeat the procedure again, otherwise quit the program. So when students get such a program, students should write down the shoulder code first, the program structure. For example, I already write down something here. Of course, we first include IO stream using name space std, right? Uh, energy main, uh, have braces, the main function return zero at the end. Now, you write down what you will do to solve this problem. So I will first declare variables. You need to think what kind of variable you need, right? Ask a user to enter the number of units to buy and ask a user to enter the <coughs> type of membership. Now, the requirement is say, if the membership enter is wrong, you need to ask a user to re-enter. So where the membership type is not correct, ask a user to re-enter. So here, you know, you will have a loop. Then calculate the total cost based on the membership type. Then here you know you will have an if, else, if, else, if, else, this kind of um, branch statement. Then you print out the result message. Uh, finally, ask if user want to do another sh uh, shopping again, calculation again. If yes, then repeat the above steps again. So the last two sentence tell you you might need to use do while loop. You do it one time, ask if user want to do it again. Uh, if you want to do it again, then you will repeat. Okay, so I suggest students always write that those sort of code first, then begin to uh, do the job, translate them to the code. For example, declare variables. So I know I will say I have a membership, right? This is one uh, chart, like a, could, could it be. Regular, silver, gold, or diamond, right? The membership. Then you have for uh, energy unit. How many units you want to buy, right? Then you might have uh, double total cost. Okay, you also can do this total cost. Okay, so you declare all these variables. Then ask a user to enter. How, how the number of units to buy. So you see out, into the number of units to buy, okay? Now, of course, then you will get a user's input. I didn't write that here, so you need to get, ask a user to enter number to buy. Of course, that's, you need to end, get user's input, okay? So you will see in, units to buy. Now, then you ask a user to enter the membership into the type of membership. Now you give people a hint, regular, civil, gold, or D, right? You tell people this, what do you expect? Okay? You want, now you get a user's input get users input, okay? So you will see in membership. Now, then, if people did not enter any of those membership like he into X, then you know we don't have such a membership, then you need a, a validate the input. Well, the membership is not right, so well, Membership not equal R, that means it's not a regular. And 
membership not equal civil that means not a civil either okay so let me uh, copy and paste here and the membership not equal gold okay and paste membership not equal diamond now notice here I use and okay so here I use and I said well membership not equal regular and not equal civil and not equal gold and not equal diamond I need to print out an error message see out no such a membership please re-enter R S G O D. You tell people you only want those uh, four kind of membership. Then you see membership again. Okay. So you see membership again. Then you calculate uh, the total cost based on based on the membership. So you will say if membership equal R. Now notice here you have need to have double equal, right? So then the total cost equal uh, units multiply forty because you're for for forty dollar per unit, right? Now here this forty, um, if you want to make your program. <coughs> Be able to you use in the future future with less chance, so you may want to say uh, declare a constant, right? For example, constant double uh, unit price equal four forty. Okay, so then you will uh, replace all the forty by unit price. Right, so you can do this. We also have this uh, uh, unit price. Okay, you can always do do this way. So in the future, if you uh, you just change the unit price, you can always just change one place. Then your program will be able to run again correctly. Okay. Now, if the membership is equal r uh, equal r, then you will do this formula right so it was the else if membership equals civil then you will have five percent discount five percent discount is the same formula but multiply uh, you have two percent discount same formula multiply two percent discount away the I mean you multiply 0 0.98 so you have 0 0.02 discount, right? Else, if membership equal gold, okay, make sure you have double equal. Student always make a mistake, have single equal here. Single equal is assignment, double equal is check equality, okay? So then you will see total cost is multiply 5%, right? Discount, so you price. 95 percent else now else which means else part has no condition here no condition needed no condition put here okay else means all the previous not true if all the previous not true since your membership only can be rsg so if pre d if previous not true then not r not s not g so it has to be d then your total cost I just paste, then you will multiply 0 0.9, okay? That's, you calculate the total cost based on the membership, you use if, else, if, else. Then you print out a message, you print out the message, you say see out, with membership type, now you see out membership. I mean, with this kind of membership type, okay, 
your total cost is then you put a dollar sign here right then you print out the total cost then print out a new line okay now then you ask if user want to do it again see out do you want to another shop You ask people yes or no, right? You give a hint. Yes or no, okay? Now, then you see, oh, you need to have a choice. So what's your choice? So we need to declare another variable here, a chart choice. Okay? Now you get his choice, then you say, now if yes, then you will repeat. That means we need to use do while loop. So I will repeat what we just did. So I have do choice as missed that is spell wrong. So I have do. Okay. Now when I have do, so I need a cut, cut and paste the what's I will inside. Uh, the one one step I go there okay I will cut or oh. oh, I, oh, I simply just put this braces after this after here right now notice when once you do this uh, Microsoft will, uh, Visual Studio will automatically do the intensity uh, for you so if yes that mean well Choice equal y or choice equal capital Y. Notice here I use all. That means one of those is true. If you choose yes, capital yes, then I will redo it again. Okay? So you uh, notice if you want to ask you the repeater to do something or not, then you use do or loop. Okay, do it one time, then ask if you want to repeat. So that's the finish. Now after you finish, you need a debug. So basically, you try to uh, compile. I hope I have some error messages so I can show you how to debug it. Oh, but we successfully compiled. Now you also can just directly click here. Then he will ask you, you want to build? Yes, you build. Then you will say, so into the number of uh, you want to buy, so uh, suppose I want to buy 50, into the type of membership, suppose I into X, then he will say, no such a membership, please into R, S, or G, suppose I into diamond, then he say, with the membership uh, type of diamond, your total cost is $1,800. Do you want to do another shopping? Now, if I into yes, then he will repeat again, now suppose I want to buy 30 units again, this time my membership is civil, then say with the membership type S, your total cost is so much, okay? Then do another one again, no, then you exit the program. Okay, this is similar to your project too, okay? If you have any questions, please give me an email.